I'm teaming up with Paramount Pictures to make a real life Optimus Primal from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. And we're at Velo 3D because they're gonna bring it to life using 3D printing. Optimus Primal and the Maximals are ancient protectors of Earth, which obviously means they're really, really strong, which is why Velo 3D is utilizing Inconel 718 for our little print project. Once the print is done though, printed and polished and looking great, we're sending it up north, where we're gonna utilize the Hacksmith in his box of toys to showcase how strong this material really is. Let's get to it. This machine behind me, this gigantic machine behind me is going to be printing an Inconel 718, a material normally used for things like rocket engines because it melts at 2400 degrees Fahrenheit and can withstand 4000 PSI. It's never been used for a project like this. You are witnessing a first of its kind. Let's go fire it up. print has been started and it's gonna take five and a half days and I don't want to miss any of it so uh, I'm gonna get comfortable oh my god five and a half days is done the print is here, it's inside this machine. And the next step in this print process for this massive Inconel 718 print is depowdering. You might wonder, what is depowdering? Well, this machine works by melting metal powders together into a fantastic shape. There is a bed of powder and it's metal, a laser from the top, lasers a design in the, in the, in the powder. And then a recoder comes along and coats it with another thin layer of metallic powder. The laser hits it again, and thousands and thousands of layers later, you end up with what's in this machine. And I can't wait to show, I haven't seen it yet. I can't wait to show you. So let, I'm just gonna stop talking and we're gonna dive in. To do this, I use these gloves. It's a little hot, but I'm gonna have to sort of brush away the metal powder. We've taken up this elevator a little bit. There's, there's metal powder that, around it because it's a big cake of metal powder and you just kind of brush it away and oh, look at that it's oh my god it's so shiny so one of the aspects of this depowdering phase is a little vacuum and it's off to the side and what's great is velo 3d's machine can reuse the powder we don't have to pull all this powder out put new powder in they can reuse the powder that hasn't been used in your print this is going to take me a while i'm going to get to work Optimus Primal in the flesh. Well, in the Inconel 718, it's still warm from the printing process, like it's hot to the touch. And a few stats about this, the build plate alone is 600 pounds. It has to be large and heavy to counteract any of the stresses introduced into the material when it's being 3D printed. And as far as the head goes, Optimus Primal here, 175 pounds, 175 pounds. It's glorious, it's detailed. Just being here and experiencing this in real life almost brings a tear to my eye. I, I absolutely love this. And we're not done because from here, we meet up at the Hacksmith. We'll see you there. And just like that, we're at Hacksmith Industries and I'm here with the Hacksmith himself, James. How's it going, Joel? Oh, it's going great, man. What, what'd you bring me? I brought you the head of Optimus Primal, 3D printed in Inconel 718. He is a Maximal, one of the protectors of Earth. 
Inconel 718, have you heard of it? I have, that's used in rocket engines. Rocket engines, especially because it's a nickel chromium alloy and it can withstand lots of pressure, lots of temperature, and it's corrosion resistant, which sounds like it's appropriate for rocket engines. Definitely. How'd you even get this made? So this was 3D printed at Velo 3D. And while they do lots of really cool science prints with this material, obviously they printed this massive Optimus Primal head. And you could actually get one of your own. They have a lot of contract manufacturers around the globe that you can utilize oh, okay. to get prints of Inconel 718 yourself. That sounds awesome. So we made it real, well, as real as we could. And when I think of make it real, I think of Hacksmith Industries and really cool ways to showcase how strong materials are. Yeah, I think I've got a few futuristic weapons. We could uh, see what it stands up to. Hacksmith, smash. First up, impact. I got this. James. <laughs> I, I think we can do better than that. I like your thinking. I figure we should drop from higher. All right, get up on the ladder. Oh, jeez. Got it? Okay. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Can we go higher? Yes. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's it look? It looks great. Concrete did no damage. I mean, this is Inconel 718, so it shouldn't, but I mean, it's always good to see, right? All right, well, uh, concrete's easy. What about metal? Metal, you say? Yeah, let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> I got a bigger pipe. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strong. Impact works. Well, obviously, this is used in rocket engines. Maybe it's time we turn up the heat. I've got the plasma saber. Wait a minute. I've seen what that can do. Oh, yeah. Let's get started. Oh, look at that. Look at the flames just dance off the geometry. That is yeah, cool. Whoa. Nothing at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We got a bit of red hot. Look. Did come, we? Come, Wait. Come, come close. Ooh. ooh. And look, look how fast it fades. Oh, it just goes away. It's just gone. It's, like, just, it, it's, it's gone. It's really hot, but. <laughs> What do you got there? Just some water. It's like lava. That is so cool. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> All right, so Optimus Primal is obviously plasma saver proof. Plasma saver proof, we proved it. But I've got something with a bit more firepower. Safety first. This looks like marshmallows, toasted marshmallows. <laughs> so now what we just hit it with was cornstarch, right? Yep, running a little cornstarch. Cornstarch and fire. And you had one of your mini savers activating the cornstarch yeah. on its way out. That's amazing. No problem. Yeah, look how shiny it is still just right underneath. Hey, Optimus Primal cleans up great. It's like we didn't do anything at all. Hey, James, we did it. That was amazing. Anytime fire's involved, you know I'm there. I am going to take you up on that, believe me. <laughs> Is this I, something that you would use yourself? We, we have a few projects that we are actually thinking about using Inconel for. But in the meantime, I might, I might have to 3D print one of these myself. Maybe not out of Inconel, though. <laughs> of course not. Well, you're in luck. So Paramount actually has an official account at Printables. Oh, you know, wow. Printables out there. And you can go and get this and another special model created by Nico Industries. I don't want to spoil it because it's, kind of, it's kind of a fun little model. You can print it on any of your 3D printers here. But this and that special model available at Printables on the official Paramount account. You'll have to watch the video because I'll put the link down below. <laughs> hey, a big thanks to everyone. Thanks to James and Hacksmith Industries. Clutch. 
That's amazing. I had such a good time. Thanks to Paramount and Transformers Rise of the Beast for letting us be a part of this momentous occasion. Velo 3D, they did the 3D printing of the ink canal. It was Julian, Ryan, and Fernando who printed this and brought it to life. And then Amir and Renette brought it home at the company. And in fact, producer David, my producer David, he's the one that had this crazy idea from the start and just made it happen with wit and hustle. I love that dude. Listen, if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in and print all the things. And as always, high five.